Are you hungry? And if so, you're in the right place, because today we're making a delicious chili cheese tteokbokki. Give me something, something good. I got the idea for this dish um, from a combination of two events. Um, I was at a restaurant a couple of months back and I had tteokbokki carbonara. That in combination with going to one of the bigger burger chains with my daughter, having chili cheese balls, and she loved them. So I put one and one together in my head, and today we're making tteokbokki chili cheese. I tried it before, so I'm not testing it out on you, and my daughter loved it. But before we get started with the ingredients, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, please do me the huge favor, hit the subscribe button, and check the bell icons so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode is online. And now, let's have a look at the board. We have some reddish yellow cheese. It's called Rutland Red, this kind. And the coloring actually comes from, uh, it's called Anato. It's a fruit from a tree that grows in the middle America somewhere. And it's usually the coloring in a lot of cheese that have this color. Um, we obviously make a kind of a sauce Mornay, so it's a bechamel. We have our flour, butter, 50 grams, 50 grams. And to go with that, we have 50 grams of uh, five deciliters of milk. 50 grams, 50 grams, five deciliters. And we also have some uh, nutmeg, white pepper, and salt. We obviously have our tteokbokki, our rice cakes. This is the standard size they come in. I'm gonna cut them in half. I prefer them halved. And then we obviously, you can't do chili cheese without cheese and chilies. So we have chilies. This is about five kind of longish red chilies that I just chopped up. I thought I wouldn't bore you with that. And we have some spring onions just to garnish with, to give it a bit of a fresh look. We might also put some chili crunch on there. I'm not sure yet. Let's see if we feel like it or not. But... Um, yeah, we can pretty much move straight over to the stove and make our uh, cheese sauce. I will also, off camera, cut all of these in half so they're the right size. But I'll see you over at the stove. We melted our 50 grams of butter. Mix in the flour. Now it's important not to have too much heat on. On my stove, that's a 7 out of 9. Sweat this off a bit and clean the stove. You want to fry this butter and flour mixture a bit. Um, well, fry, you don't want to color it, but you want to cook it off before you add the milk. We can add a bit of the milk. the heat a bit. Make sure that you don't have any lumps in it. Time to add a bit more milk. We can add the rest now. And make sure we just mix everything nicely together. The goal is no lumps and then to get it to thicken up. At this stage we can add our white pepper of turns, I would say a pinch. We'll add a pinch of salt. Now you never know how salty the cheese will be. So I just add a pinch to start with. And some nutmeg. The nutmeg shouldn't overpower but you can put quite a bit in. We can always add more later. And once we see it starting to thicken, we will add the cheese. And the good thing with bechamel is uh, if, you, if it gets too thick, you can always add more milk. And it's slowly starting to thicken up, so we'll add our cheese. All of it. And we just try to gently kind of fold this in. Now you can turn down the heat again too seven or six. 
You can already see the orange color. That's what we're after for this dish. And we want to add the chili just at the end. Give this a quick taste to see where we are with the salt. Nutmeg is good, but we had a good pinch of two pinches of salt. Pepper is good as well. It's already at the consistency I wanted, so I turned off the stove now. Give it another try. It swallows quite a lot of salt, so let's go for another two pinches. Give it a try again. Last one. Perfect. Now let's put our chilies in. And obviously here it's up to personal preference. If it was me alone eating this, I would probably add another two or three chilies. But since it's my daughter's favorite dish, we go with the chilies we have. Now we'll just put this to the side and we'll fry up our tteokbokki. Now if you're following the channel, you've seen me do tteokbokki before. You can boil them as well, I prefer to fry them. Medium heat, just give them a bit of time. And they have no taste whatsoever in themselves. So that's why it's important to serve them up with something nice. Preferably something that covers them completely. Now it's heating up, so now we need to stir. You can see some of them already have spots on them. It's like a flat tire on a, on a car or a bike. And the best way to check if they're done is to, to feel them. If they're soft, they're done. <laughs> That's easy, isn't it? If they're just a little bit soft and you can still feel like hard spots in them, then they need a bit longer. Now I always love to give a base salting to everything. Obviously we're gonna drown this in the nice chili cheese sauce, but it's nice that they have a bit of salt on them as well. Let's check them. Yeah. Do some spot checks. Looks like all of them are done. Now it's time to add the cheese. Here we have our wonderful cheese sauce. Now we're done. So we're ready to serve this up. I will just mix this a bit more and then we can get going. I'll see you at the board. Now we have our, I decided to put some silly crunch, our chopped spring onions, and we're about to serve up the chili cheese tteokbokki. But before we do that, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, only takes a second, but it's so valuable to me to get my content out there in the YouTube universe. So thank you for helping me with that. Now, let's get the tteokbokki in here. Mm. This is not for the faint-hearted. Now the chili crunch, it's something I do quite regularly, it keeps for a while. I'll put the link here if you haven't seen the episode yet, that's the chili crunch. has a bit of a nice, a kind of a sweetness to it. It has some fried onions and then some fried garlic. Perfect. And for our spring onions. And for me, some extra red chilies on top. Are we ready to dig in? Oh, this is so perverse, but I love it. Mm. It's really not uh, a diet food. And the sauce, I would say it tastes very close to the burger chain's um, chili cheese. It's just made with good cheese and good chili. Tokboki is such a great ingredient because you can mix it with basically 
anything due to the fact that it doesn't have its own taste. It just has texture. It has a wonderful texture. Mm. Heavenly. That's it for this time. If you have any questions about the dish, leave them in the comments below. I always answer them. And as I said at the beginning, if you're not a subscriber yet, do me the favor, hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications. But that's it for today. Take care. Bye-bye.